And we're rolling. My name is Mark from jazzgitarlessons.net and welcome to the jazzgitarlessons.net studio. So this is typically what you see, right? So today I just want to take a moment. Uh, we'll start by doing a quick studio visit so you can see what type of stuff, how I'm sitting here, what I see when I shoot for you. Actually, I'm just, you know, mostly looking to a camera and then I will do a gear rundown. I'll show you my guitars and uh, maybe my amps actually. Maybe we'll tear them out and and see how it goes. So let's go for a spin. So here's what I, so this is the, the walk-in closet. We'll get in there later, but quickly. So this is what I see when I shoot. <laughs> so there's an iMac over there and that's a GoPro. And there's this condenser microphone that I use to speak into. And then let me go back a little more. Yes, yes. So you see a full picture, little essential oils, diffuser, and an iMac and that's a GoPro I have into a black magic box so I turn it into some sort of a webcam so I can still use QuickTime. I have um of course you know drinks and stuff metronome wallet uh, this is an ident let, let me show you audient ID14 so this is an interface that I plug uh, the the microphone into of course but also I plug the guitar as a DI so what I do is I use uh, the GarageBand um, built-in amps. Typically, I just plug the guitar in for totally silent uh, recording. Just besides me here, there's a, uh, a stool, the Dario stool, and a Roland Cube. That's one from the mid-90s or late 90s. Uh, Roland Cube 60, yeah. And that's sometimes when I do streams and I, I just want to use a microphone, I'll just keep using it so... Um, the microphone will pick up on that and my uh, that's an AT2020 XLR and that's a Audio Technica I just got those uh, as far as lighting goes like you see now it's dark and I have these oh yeah I have these phones on the wall uh, everywhere actually even behind me let me show you uh, here here they're everywhere so that there's carpet on the floor but at least we get uh, we get a good little sound. So there's no, if you clap your hand, there's no not a lot of feedback, not a lot of uh, reverb, and that's my black. Uh, uh, it's just basically like a, a drape, or I don't even know what to call this, but that's what it is. So that that's what it looks like when I shoot. And as far as lighting goes, there's one here, one on top of the computer, and one on top of me. So there's three soft boxes that I use for shooting. Um, I think I want to get LED panels and then, of course, I keep this shut so there's not too much natural white light coming in. Let's say hi to the neighbors. Hey, neighbors. Or birds. Uh, turtle doves recently. And uh, a few squirrels and, of course, blue jays. And it's, can it's a fall in Canada. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, my studio is on the second floor. I'm pretty lucky so I can avoid all the, you know, the regular life kitchen TV noise I avoid in the studio. And now let's get over to the, the rest. So, of course, trash can, BSBS. I have a small printer, and that's where I file my, my tax paper and stuff. Uh, that's my, my library. There's a picture or two on the website with my, my bookshelf, the one on the right, that black one. So that's where I have all these books. So fake books on top and old CDs and, and you know, yeah, that's a real book, real book one, real book two. Uh, Piano stuff, theory, harmony, com composition, a lot of teaching stuff. Uh, stamps, for some reason. Stamp collection I got a, as a gift. Uh, all the jazz books, some shredding books, Steve Vai stuff, classical stuff. And then there's this, you know, bookshelf where I have my business books. Uh, I read a lot of business biographies and spir spiritual stuff, spirituality. Uh, the mandatory Steve Jobs quote. Not that I care for the guy, but just I love... I love this quote. You might hear some crying because, uh, you know, I'm a dad. So that's the door that leads to the scary exterior world of not the Jazz Jazz on that studio. More foams. And then, of course, my whiteboard where I keep uh, I keep a tally on my stuff. Uh, now, that that's a walk-in I showed you. So what's interesting here is a, a little cork board, a little mirror. Of course, to adjust myself when I... Hey, guys. Can you see this? shooting um so yeah you might hear some crying my my, little, my son leo is just about uh, six weeks old at the moment of shooting so he's uh, in crying mode now um or diaper mode whichever so that's another that's a walk-in closet so it's pretty useful that's a massive when uh, door 
like massive wood. Is that massive? That's not a word in English, I guess, right? It's uh, it's just it's just wood, wood. And then there's another bookcase in there. Some uh, drawers for stuff and you know textbooks from when I studied uh, math and statistics. There's plenty of room. So the blue shirt, I'll use this this railing to to put my stuff on and cables and whatnot and then it's a really good spot because i can then shut the door have all my guitar cases and amp cases and whatever and that's uh, that's what it's used for sorry about the camera still you getting used to this thing uh so guitar cases okay so there's two amps here actually so the one i won't get them out of the case so there's a fender blues jr and i have a fender uh, silver face uh, it's not even a reissue it's a 1971 original it smells like cigarettes so it's a real heavy 212 um deluxe uh, deluxe princeton i forgot see i need to take it out of the case i got it uh, about a year ago and i barely used it so that's that and then let's go over the guitar review let's shut the door get some light in here so there's a page on the website if you want to take a look there's uh mark Mark's guitar gear. So one of the ones I use the most often in, in YouTube videos is this one, my baby. Whoops. That's a GNL Tally. So it's a GNL Blues Boy. So it's not a Fender Stratocaster. And the Blues Boy has these really, really good pickups. Look them up. I talk about them on the page. Uh, and I love these pickups so much, especially the humbucker. I love it so much that I installed those the same pickups on my good day so uh, this one is a really cool um ed bickert style type of sound that's really dark that you can hear when i record and i just love, love that oh yeah lime wall yeah that's by the way in case you didn't it was lime before i put the, the backdrop and what's really good with this is it's dark it's heavy and the paint it's been coated with some sort of a tapestry because these grains are too too big for a paint nozzle so it's like put there and then they lack it or something they did there's a spray paint so that's how i got it and i, I love the color it's just very very eccentric and that this is my good name so they call it the montreal premiere and uh it's made in canada by of course robert godin we've met uh, way back when it's a really a good builder so you could say this is like a 335 a gibson 335 copy uh, and the pickups are are those uh, uh humbuckers i told you about which are set lovers both uh because the pickups on the original pickups on the godin were i wouldn't say cheap but they were not like the best output so it's just the responsiveness what i like about those is just the, the dynamic range is awesome like you can play super loud then you can play super soft and you're still um you can still get a really good sound. So last two guitars. So this one I don't play in videos with because I, I, I will hurt my fingers. It's a Yamaha and I got this through a True Fire contest at some point. Uh, can I see? I don't even know what, what this is. Yamaha LL6M. It's a pretty good mid-level instrument and it's solid, but it's even with light strings, it's just, it hurts. <laughs> It hurts a lot. So it's beautiful, it sounds great, but I can't play for long until I go like, it's too hard. <laughs> and this, these are the ones that, li the Lionel string you keep seeing on the website. It's a Takamine ESC 132, I believe. Can you see this? Probably not, but I've had this for over 20 years and there's a, there's a built-in pickup. So it's a really a classical that you can plug in and it sounds great and I'm, when I do finger style, I love to go to go the the nylon string route because that's that's always what I do. And those are uh, medium strings, medium strings. Uh, too bad I didn't ah, pull out a pack of strings, but I use the Darios on my two um, on my two electrics here. I use the Darios, but I use 10.5s. So that's a, that's a little secret of the trades. You know, the jazz guys want to go really heavy gauge, and then they go, "Oh, I, I was on 13s for a while." I'm like, dude, you can't do that. Like you're gonna. <laughs> gonna die uh, it's, it's it's crazy but i found that the tens the nine and the tens are too light and uh 11 are a bit too heavy for both so i use 10.5 it's a half cage 
and the Dario makes them and they're they're pretty good so that's it that's the studio tour guys thanks for watching uh, please let me know if you have any questions about this um it's not much but it's honest work it's just this is how i produced all the lessons i keep updating you know get a new pair of headphones get a new camera get a new microphone but like one piece at a time because you know budget uh, but I'm doing pretty well. Like, this is working well for me now. I just need probably a new seat, <laughs> a new <laughs> bench, and a few other things as usual. That's always how it goes. But thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know. And I will see you soon on the website, jazzguitarlessons.net. Prove your jazz guitar playing with a real teacher. And thanks for doing the studio visit with me. Take care. Bye.